We are finding our underway and it's James Ferry back to Hammond who instantly clips one forward in the direction of Welpdale. Scott Morris heads it more sort of across and now Mantham gets the ball for the first time. He dinks one in the direction of Noel Williams headed away by the former Tudor Mitch Dickinson. This is now Scott Morris. Clever ball to Mantham. Mantham. This is now much better from Tudor. playing through the lines. Harley finds Noel Williams. Mantham clips it over the top. Harley might be in behind here. He's into the box. He's done brilliantly as Harley. He's still going. Shoots it acro across the face. And I have no idea how a red shirt has not managed to turn that in. Brilliant approach play from the Tudors. Such a class ball through by Mantham. Harley's done excellently. Just drilled it really hard across the box. And there's no one there to tap it in. Hammond good, good play there. Short finds Rollinson. Back to Hammond. He now sends it at the back post. Dickinson is... We're going to have a penalty. I think he's given a penalty. Eastbourne. And everyone is absolutely so stunned. the referee, by the, the looks the of things... Eastbourne players haven't even... No, no one appealed for that. Appeal for anything. Neither bench has said anything. And what Mantum in particular, I just saw him ask, because the referee has said that he's given it for shirt pulling. Hammond, by the looks yeah, of things... Yeah, James Hammond, who scored here last season as well. It's now a chance for Hammond... A few young Two. Tudors behind the yeah. goal trying to put him off. But it's a chance for Bilbo to hero. It's Hammond against Bilbo. Steps up, slams it into the corner, sends Bilbo the wrong way, and it is 1-0 to Eastbourne. And I don't think anyone can quite believe what's just happened there, really. He slides it in a mantum. And here come the Tudors on this right-hand side. It's Lacey. Skips by his man. Can't then just get his pass quickly. It's Mantum who's in behind. Shoot! Morgan there. Might drop for Noel Williams. Does... No Williams. The one handball. Screaming for handball. Doesn't look like they're going to get it. A two point blank save from the Brilliant keeper. And potentially a point blank save from the defender yeah. as well. Gleason finds Mantham. Tudors need to keep the pressure on here. No Williams still down in yeah. the penalty area after that. And the yeah, play will stop. This is now Morgan Griffiths brings it down. Slides it into Sam Acre. There seems to have picked up like a left centre midfield. Hines, who's got Dickinson with him. He's into the box. He pulls it back for Carruthers, who slices it across to JJ. He pulls it back to Mandem, who lashes it over the bar. But straight away, strong start from Hemel. Brilliant approach play from Jeremy I mean, Carruthers. Totally slices the shot, but it turned into a brilliant ball, didn't it? For JJ at the back post. Clever pull back, and Mandem maybe should do better there. So. Well, there's, there's a foul in there, referee. Pequa, and we'll penalty. We have a penalty. We'll have a penalty. Foul there, there on Koloski. Foul there on Kopequa. And the referee has finally pointed to the spot. I don't know which one he's no, given it for. There was, a, there was just a tumble of bodies. And it's going to be Sam Acrothers. He instantly ran away to get the ball. And it's a chance for him. Or is it? Get, well, oh, it's going to be given to... Well, he's given it to JJ Lacey. He's given it to JJ, yeah. So it's going to be the very experienced Lee Wargan up against... JJ Lacey. It's tense moments this is, here. This Tudor is the fans. chance, isn't it, this Jack? Is the chance, isn't it? This is that little lifeline that the Tudors have oh. needed to get their season up and underway. 72 minutes on the clock here at Vauxhall Road. JJ Lacey JJ steps up. JJ Lacey steps up and he slots it in there. It. It. It's 1-1 one, one. here at Vauxhall Road. JJ Lacey was his first goal of the season. All Sends the keeper the wrong right way. Mobbed by his teammates and it's game on here. It's a brilliant penalty there from the young man. Sends the keeper the wrong way, buries it in the opposite corner. I don't think he could have done that much better if he tried. It is no. now Hemel Hempstead Town 1, Eastbourne Borough 1. Game on. Smashes it forward. Hines beaten to it by Elliot. Carruthers now to calm it all down. Finds Manson into Williams just inside his own half. Finds Carruthers who turns out. Skips by one. He's got Morgan Griffiths with him. Finds the midfield then. It was Scott Morris. He's got loads of time to cross. Winds his cross up. JJ slips at crucial moment. Freddie Hines! Hines! Blocked by Blocked. the defender and out for a corner. Yeah, the referee yeah. has given a corner. A corner. Slip in there from JJ Lacey. Another one of those teasing crosses into the box by Gus Scott Morris. So, so unlucky there from the yeah, Tudors. Brothers is down on his haunches. I don't know if that's just... He's limping a little bit, is Sammy Carruthers. Hopefully that's nothing 
to worry about because you can't just keep having him only playing the odd minutes and then going off. JJ Lacey Corners. floats the corner in towards the back post. Uh, beaten to it. Comes out to Samir Carruthers into Mantum who lines up the shot. Oh. Straight out Wargan, but good strike by Sam Mantum. Yeah, it's good that we're getting shots away this week. We're testing the keeper. We are asking questions, but it's all well and good asking a few questions, but there's a point where yeah. you need to actually do more. Gonna as three minutes out of time. Yeah. Ball played forward to Bennett. Lacey's going to get there on the second ball. It's JJ. He lines it up. Yes! Yeah! 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 Head on stand have won the first league game of the season. It's JJ Lacey's second goal of the game. It's 2 on the Tudors. Come it's on. a reflected strike taken past Wogan. That's a brilliant, brilliant bit of play. Keeper's now up for this one. And I think Keeper is up Hemel for this needs one. to get everyone back in the box, including Freddie Hines, for this one. They need as many bodies in the way as possible. Yeah, Hines what will this last throw ball. of the dice mean for Eastbourne Borough? Corner, deep to the back post. It's headed down, and it's, and in. it's in. And it's Josh Oyinsan has grabbed the last-minute equaliser on his return to Vauxhall Road. Corner nodded down, and there was Oyinsan to turn it home. And it is Hemel Hempstead 2, Eastbourne Borough 2, and that probably is the end of that now. Yeah, it's, and it's absolutely probably, crushing for the Tudors. Probably the last kick of the game there, and that is a sucker crushing punch blow. Sucker punch blow. I think it's very fair to say that they've not really looked like getting something in the second half. Yeah. Hemel have gone 2-1 up very late on as the referee's got his whistle yeah, to his lips. And, there is and the despite full the fact whistle. that JJ Lacey has just yeah, run well, into the and box and, and, and has almost buried the ball, the referee has decided to blow for full time.